Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to take you to one of the most remote railway lines in the world. Our journey starts in Setsil, a small town nestled on the north shore of the St. Lawrence River in Quebec province in eastern Canada. As the sun rises early in the morning, I'm getting ready to make my way to the station. Good morning from Setsiva. I'm on my way to the train station now to catch a train to Shefferville. Um, Departs at 7 a.m. It's now like 5:20, um, but I told me I should be there at um, 6. So oh, got a hot chocolate from Tim Hortons, and I decided to walk because it's such a beautiful day, and it's about a 40-minute walk. And in case you're wondering how Setsil looks like, this is it. Um, yeah, it's just one big road. Uh, they have a cinema over there. Wow. Okay. Well, it's not very cold. Um, it's actually, the temperature is quite nice to walk. And the train station should be at the end of the street, somewhere on the right, as far as I know. Almost there. Uh, it's right over there, somewhere behind the trees, and I can also see trains already. We made it! This is the station of Setsil, and I think our train is right there, there's just three cars. After checking out this magnificent old steam engine, I headed inside the building to buy my ticket. The ticket cost me 96.62 Canadian dollars one way, including taxes. If you want to make it a return, it will set you back 174.15 Canadian dollars. It is possible to pay by cash or card. I opted for card payment, which apparently came with a hefty $10 surcharge. Let's have a look at today's journey. We are starting down here in Setsil and we'll cover the 357 miles all the way up to Shefferville. The train has multiple stops on the way but they are served only on demand and not all of them are required on each trip. Depending on the number of stops the trip can take anywhere between 12 and 16 hours. Also note that there is no passenger service on the branch to Labrador City. If you want to go there you have to exit the train at Emeril and have your own transport organized from there. All right, let's get aboard the train. As I was getting settled, we left Setsil right on time at 7 a.m. As we slowly rumbled along the industrial outskirts of Setsil, I realized once again that this was not going to be a fast ride. The maximum speed I would see today would be about 40 miles an hour, but mostly it hovered around 30. Thank you. 
As I marveled at the untamed Moisey River, I realized just how remote this ride was gonna be. Soon we will be completely surrounded by wilderness. <laughs> About an hour after departure, they handed out trash bags to everyone, which I thought was very nice, and it really comes in handy on this long trip. There are also emergency instructions printed on the bags. <laughs> There is a number of stops on the way, ranging from small huts to full settlements and even accommodation on wheels, as you can see here. The train was not crowded at all, there were a lot of seats available. I got bored sitting around, I decided to explore the train a little bit, and I walked up to the first passenger coach where they have a little store set up. You can buy drinks, sandwiches and snacks there. They take cash only and it is a little pricey, but I got a cheeseburger and a drink for around 8 Canadian dollars. <laughs> Let me quickly show you the bathroom. The entire trip it was actually kept exceptionally clean and they never seemed to run out of soap and toilet paper.
Every once in a while we pass these really long cargo trains full of iron ore. And when I say long, I mean they're really, really long. Okay, it's not like we have time all day. Let's speed this up a little. Wow, okay, I lost count here, but it took us over two minutes to pass that train. Okay, Eight hours after we left Setzil, we finally reached Ross Bay Junction, the place where the track split into different branches. The left branch leads to Labrador City, the right one to Shefferville. This is also the point at which we enter the tracks owned by the company running this train, Chiotin Rail Transportation, or short TSH. As we cross the Trans Labrador Highway, the only major road up here in the north, it's a good time to reflect on the history of this railway line. The line between Setzil and Shefferville was constructed between 1951 and 1954 by the QNSL the Quebec North Shore and Labrador Railway, a subsidiary of the Iron Ore Company of Canada, short IOC. Shefferville was originally a company village constructed by the IOC to house its workers. The line mainly served as a means to get iron ore from the mines in the north down to the ports at Setzio. When the mining was stopped in 1982, the railway line lost a big part of its cargo business and attention was focused on the Warbush part of the network. After years of unprofitability on the line between Emerald and Shefferville, QNSL was looking to sell this part. No other rail company made a bidding and so the Indonesians, fearing that they might lose their rail connection, came together and created Chioetin. Chioetin is an inner word and means north wind. It is a very fitting expression for this part of the world, and in late 2005 they took over the line and operations from QNSL for just one Canadian dollar. And by that, it is the first ever railroad owned by a group of First Nations. The railway service seems to be well managed, the service on board is very good, the carriages are kept in a clean state, and there are even thoughts of introducing Wi-Fi. They are also very active on their Facebook page, publishing schedules and other notifications. The train runs once or twice a week, mostly departing Setzil on Mondays and Thursdays and returning the next day. Let's get back to the right. The further north we went, the colder it got, and you could even see lakes still partially covered in ice in mid-May. This is land you would usually see from an airplane flying between North America and Europe. It was truly fascinating to see it from the ground.
Welcome to Shefferville. As I was walking from the station, it didn't take long for someone to stop and offer me a ride into town. I was able to pick up some fries from a restaurant and then made my way to the guest house. Right. So, hello from Shefferville. Uh, made it. Finally, the train journey took 13 hours. Uh, now walking to the guest house. Now to get to the hotel, we kind of have to walk through this little forest here. Uh, probably wouldn't want to walk it in the dark, but now it's kind of okay because there are bears around. The guest house was located right by Knob Lake and had this amazing wooden charm. It was beautifully designed and the people were really friendly. I truly enjoyed my stay here and would come back any time. And as I'm exploring my room, this video comes to an end. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video where I'm planning to take a flight out of here. See you then!